Hello and welcome to another Postbusters tutorial. Today I am gonna show you how to put your green screen element into real life footage. I recorded that clip using my cell phone. So do not pay too much attention to the quality. Okay, let's start. Just drag your clip you want to track onto the create new composition box. All we need to do now, is to track our footage by clicking the track camera button. If you can't find the tracker panel, just go to window and select tracker. Okay, make sure the clip you want to track is selected. Press track camera. Now this may take a moment. Alright. When the clip is tracked we can see these little dots. Now find a spot where you want to put your element. Just mark a couple of dots. Right click, then choose create solid and camera. Bam! As you can see the solid is tracked to our footage. But who cares about a boring pink solid? Let's bring in our green screen clip. Now find the part you want to use. Press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. Delete the first part and drag the clip to the beginning of our composition. Go to Effect and apply key light. How you adjust the settings is depending of the quality of your footage. Just try out some of these steps I am doing to get a clean key. Okie dokie. Press F4 to toggle between the modes. Click the 3D box. Now we have a nice floating head. Let's bring it into the right position. Press P to bring up the position options. Copy the position of the solid by pressing Ctrl C and paste it onto the green screen layer by pressing Ctrl V. Then press R to bring up the rotation options. Now copy the orientation value of the solid to the green screen layer. Scale up the layer so it fills out the frame in the wall. Press Shift while scaling, to keep the right proportions. Press T to turn down the opacity for a moment. Select the layer and pick the pen tool. Now, draw a mask around that hole. Let's turn up the opacity again. Press F to bring up the mask feather. 4 pixels should do it. Apply tint. Put the amount to 80. Press F4 to get to the transfer modes. Select darken. Apply curves to get some contrast. Then put the opacity amount to 80. Turn on the solid again. Let's try to get some more three-dimensional depth in that hole. Scale up the solid. Go to layer. Solid settings. Change the color to black. Press M on our green screen layer and copy the mask by pressing Ctrl C. Paste it on the solid by pressing Ctrl V. Let's turn down the opacity so we can see through the layer. Now double click on the mask and rescale it so it matches with the hole.
Press M to bring up the mask options. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the mask. On Mask 2 select Subtract. Then double press M. Decrease the mask expansion to a little negative value. Now, the most important step to sell this shot is to turn on the motion blur on our green screen layer in the solid. With large caliber weapons, people don't just get red spots and collapse. collapse. They come apart. come apart. War is a... There we go. I hope you enjoyed that short quick tip tutorial. There will be more bigger and advanced tutorials coming in the future. Please make sure to rate and subscribe. See you soon.